What is happening there, boys and girls? Jim here. You know the channel name. Today is Saturday, September 28th, 2024, and we are back out to the rock pile, which is just adjacent to the RC Adventure Park. Another On the Rocks video here featuring the custom Red Cat Gen 8 Jeep Comanche. This is the next vehicle on the list versus my brother's uh, somewhat customized Traxxas TRX 6 Mercedes Benz. We're going to take these babies out on the rocks and see how they do today. Um, I'm hoping the Gen 8 does pretty good, but we'll see. We've got a couple different avenues that we can go around the rocks. Yeah, we'll just pick and choose and see how things unfold as we go. So starting off is the Red Cat Gen 8 Jeep Comanche. We're running a Duratrax Onyx 6,000 milliamp 2S LiPo, 6 amp LiPo. This vehicle is highly customized. Wheelbase has been shortened from 324 millimeters down to 312, 313, somewhere in that area. I haven't measured it, per se. We do have custom LED lighting on demand. As well as rock lighting. As far as tires, we're running a set of Traxxas 1.9 Canyon Trails. Which have been custom trimmed. And they are mounted on a set of Boom Racing 1.9 Sandstorm Crate aluminum wheels. Steering servo is a Savox SW0231. And we're still running the stock motor. Which I believe is a Red Cat 17 turn 550. As far as suspension, we've got 110 millimeter shocks all the way around with a set of RC full drive King Off Road. Oil fill jacks. So we've got great suspension and great articulation with the vehicle. Not exactly the easiest rock pile to be climbing on over here. Oh, just about to flip it over. Vehicle has a lot of ground clearance, a lot of articulation. Keeping all four tires on the ground still. Stronger steering servo would be nice. The side box is okay at the moment, but it could use an upgrade. And we're making it in. We got our tires in some pretty big holes here. Easily larger than the tires themselves. Problem when you're filming is that you really can't see where you're driving as far as picking your lines. Not bad. So far, knock on wood, this truck is actually, not to jinx myself, is doing the best out of all of them. I think next to my brother's Matera Suburban Ascender, that one did pretty well. And the Axial Wraith 1.9 RTR also did pretty well. Just for our stock vehicles coming out here out of the gate. This one is, uh, well, none of them are really stock. <laughs> this one is definitely far from stock. Very far from stock. It's a beautiful little rig, actually. It crawls uh, unbelievably well. I pit it up against a Red Cat Ascent any day of the week. This truck's unbelievable. Look at that flex. That's some pretty good twist. Still have all tires making contact. The differentials on here on this on the axles are one of the biggest hang-ups. Are those uh, big ring and pinions that hang down? Set of Traxxas axles on here, and it'd be uh, much better off. Getting kind of torqued up there. Well, we're kind of winding our way around here. Let's 
making our approach up onto this next rack. Some random gunfire in the background. This is America. <laughs> that happens. Especially when you live out in the middle of nowhere. This is a cool little climb right through here. Only wish I could really uh, position myself a little bit better with the camera so you guys and gals could appreciate it as much as we are. Back player hanging over the edge there. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I think we're going to just back up here for a second and hold this position and wait for the TRX-6. You got all the differentials open at the moment? Yeah. And you crawled right in. <laughs> Almost crawled right in. I'm jinxing you. Bring a set of Duratrax Deepwoods 1.9 CR tires. You can't get these anymore, unfortunately. These were one of the best 1.9 tires ever produced, in my opinion. You see that you got to lock up the rear. I see this middle axle is hanging you up. There you go. As far as tires, he's running, or wheels, he's running uh, Boom Racing Sandstorm Crate 1.9s as well. In red. I like those sandstorm crates. Those are nice wheels. The boom racing wheels are one of my favorites. We are in a partnership program with Amy and Hobbies and Advant Link. So I will be leaving links in the information area down below uh, for certain items that you can still get. <laughs> like the Warren 8274 winch underneath the hood. Of the TRX 6 or the Warren 9.5 CTI that's on the front bumper of our Red Cat Gen 8. Well, you made it to there without a problem. Mm -hmm. I like to try to climb up through here as well, this other yeah, right entrance way afterwards. Once we finish making our loop here, I'm going to drop down through here. You might as well just hang out there for a second if your servo's not screaming. You might as well just hang out for a minute. Dropping down into this hole. That bumper, front bumper, is about to make contact with the rack. Right there. We have to back up and readjust. See if we can get our front. See if we can get our front tire to make contact with that rack instead. Instead of our bumper. Oh, we're a little bit underneath it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't like that. It's not a good spot. Here it comes a little bit more. Yeah, get up on it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> That's tweaking it out. We hopped up onto that rack. Not necessarily where we were sitting, but try and get that front wheel over the edge of the rack. This is my niece's vehicle. And I custom built it, and my brother picked up the tab. We're in some deep racks here. This thing's actually doing it pretty, pretty easy here compared to my Trail Finder 2, that's for sure. 
Your Suburban, though, did a beautiful job crawling through here. Plastic links going to the axles. Plastic skid plate. Not as much ground clearance, but not nearly as much. This thing's got all kinds of ground clearance between the rock and the skid plate right now. The TF2 had some pretty good ground clearance between there as well. But uh, I think the Ascender might have been dragging his belly across that. Oh, we're touching right there. This vehicle's suspension is set up to ride out, ride in a sagged out position. So it rides close to the ground. Rides low. Which makes it a lot more stable. All right, making our way over to this little rocky st stair step here. Oh, that's a good little sitting spot. <laughs> Got my bumper up against a rack. Servo's not being twisted. I'm just going to hold there and wait for you. Now you might want to be on the other side of the truck for that approach. It's a pretty good little step there. A little bit of a dish as well. Towards the top. That is a beautiful Mercedes Benz. Last I looked online, it wasn't available in black. All they had was silver and white. I like the silver one too. It's cool looking. So is the white one. But hard to keep clean. You're dropping down into that. Right where that rock that snagged us up. Right there. About to make contact. Yeah, you can stand wherever you want to stand. Your uh, whatever's going to give you the best angle on it. That's what professional crawlers do. Yeah, you got to tweak pretty hard, <laughs> hard left there, eh? Full extension on all your axles. I love those dirt track deep woods. We didn't get a chance to take this thing out in the snow with the dirt track deep woods on it. It's a big disappointment. By the time we got those tires on there last uh, spring, the snow was melted. And you're already caught up to me. Pretty quick. Pretty quick catch up. Walk through the course here. That's a big rig. Yeah, it is eating up a lot of space. Look at that thing on that rock. You're dragging your belly on it. Almost. You will be in a second here. It's definitely eating up a lot of real estate. You can drive right into the back of the Gen 8 right now. All right, I'm going to try to uh, get up on top of these racks and walk ourselves around this way. And go that way somewhere. We'll see. Sorry if the camera didn't pick that up. Great articulation. Making our way into this first step here. Cutting hard left. And cutting back a little bit just to get the front tire <laughs> onto a notch. Under the edge of the rock and back and straight. And getting ready to cut left. Tigers hanging over the edge. I'm going to talk myself right off the edge of this wall. Yep. Now let's back up a little bit. Carefully. It's like every time it gets just a little bit further down the wall. <laughs> a little bit further over the edge. Oh, don't go that way. All right, we're uh, back end is drifting a little bit here to the one side. Get our overhead view. Too much more of this and we're going to be done for. We got to get up that rock. It's like almost tempted just to punch it. Got her front tire up in the air. Oh, we are torch twisting her out. We have to straighten out the steering, I think, to get this baby squared away. And we're hanging right off the edge of that rock. 
that's like a situation where you have your buddy string out the winch line. I might have to cut back to the right a little bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was close. I thought she was going over for sure. This thing crawls beautifully. It needs a different different motor in there. I think a brushless motor with the proper pinion gear in here would be great. This one with the stock pinion gear is what we're running right now. It's just a little bit too tall. Where we're really twisted here. Cutting hard right. Steering servo doesn't like it. And we get our suspension pretty good along the way. We're trying to hug that rack. We're hugging it. <laughs> mm, it's pretty radical. All right, cutting hard left. Slight throttle. Still cutting hard left. I think we're going to have to back up and try to straighten ourselves out in a second. Body on this vehicle is wasted. Wasted. <laughs> it's got all the black paint from the inner fender wells is gone. A lot of chips and flakes missing from the roof. Just a bad paint scheme. Two different colors or two different brands of paint that didn't like each other from day one. A couple of rollovers in cold weather. I did the rest of the damage. <laughs> well, I'm in a really, actually, kind of a comfortable spot. Well, not necessarily, I guess. Let me keep on going here. The servo doesn't like where it's sitting at. Climbing up over this ledge, into that ledge. ESC is singing a little bit. Yeah, I would definitely pit this truck up against a red cat ascent any day of the week, rustless or otherwise. We're climbing the tree. Through the hole and up the tree. Still cutting hard left. <laughs> Good and tweaked out there with our suspension. Oh, this truck is awesome. If I can balance it out in here, Ian, I'm just going to sit. There we go. All right. <laughs> She's still a little tweak. The steering servo is talking to me. Oh, belly rub. Get the belly rub it. And we made it. Back, axle way in here. Right up on the edge of those sidewalls. Who owns Duratrax? Is that uh, Horizon Hobbies, I believe? Please bring back the Deep Woods Horizon Hobbies. <laughs> Please bring them back. Awesome tires. Great size. Great tread, especially when they're custom trimmed. This one is a combination. It has the four deep woods that were on my, my TRX4 Bronco. When I put the lift kit on the Bronco and upgraded to 2.2s, we took my tires and put them onto this. And then two other deep woods that came off of my brother's Axial Wraith 1.9 RTR. Now you are down in the valley here. <laughs> Front bumper snagging on a rock. That front bumper is a RC4 Drive Trailfinder 2 plastic Marlin Crawlers front bumper. I like to find the metal front bumper for that thing, but those Marlin Crawlers front bumpers are, man, few and far between. Always out of stock. All right, so we are in a spot here. We got a pretty good drop right below our tire, straight down. And we could possibly roll our truck dropping into that. We we'll have to approach this very carefully. Either we dive right into it, or we try to stay up on this rock for a second. 
and you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> We're probably going to roll it over for sure, making this decision. One figure hanging off over here on the passenger side. Excuse the shade. You squeaked out good. Oh, <laughs> dropping into it. And the back tire way up in the air over there. Way up in the air. No falsified angles on my channel for the newcomers. Try not to falsify anything. You get to see all the rollovers and all the times we get stuck and all the frustration that goes along with it. <laughs> Broken parts. Trail Finder 2, we uh, bent two leaf springs. I said one on camera, but we bent the other one as well on the rear. And we broke a uh, the upper left or right turn buckle off the axle, steering knuckle, which is this part right here where it attaches the axle. We broke it off. We managed to go through the rest of the, the course after we broke it. <laughs> it was still somewhat attached. And I'm going around the outside here, sitting here talking and not paying attention to where I'm driving. We're trying to make our way to these two rocky peaks right here. These guys, this one here and this one right here. Let's see if we can make our way through there. Some pretty gnarly pitfalls along the way. As we make our approach. Oh, it's just twisted. Front tire is down in a hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we we'll might have to back up here. We're seriously in a hole. See those RC Pro Drag King off road 110 millimeter shocks. Sorry, buggy. <laughs> Lisa's truck once again. Your uncle's driving it like, a, like he stole it. Lining up for our approach here. Front tire is trying to climb up a ledge on the other side. Using the sidewall to get us up. Oh boy, come on. Oh boy. <laughs> come on. I think it's up in the air. Oh man. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh man, that was satisfying. Don't know if we're going to make it any further. They're snagged up on the links there. Oh, yeah, we're in it pretty good. Got our door pinned up against a rock over here. Definitely doing some body damage. It was a real vehicle. That was a big rock ledge that we climbed over there. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to make it through here, though. <laughs> I wanted to make it through here. I wanted to show how sweet this truck was. Oh, baby, she's up in the air. We need a stronger steering servo, Protect 370 TBL, and we'd probably start breaking parts. Sorry, buggy. New body is in imminent. It has been for quite some time. We are really putting some flex on over here. Get that Duratrax Onyx 6,000 milliamp to this lipo. And hook into the left, and we got one tire up in the air. Way up in the air over there. Didn't even notice that. Holy Moses.
That thing's way up in the air. We're sitting on our length. That's... <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make it over this or not. Get her front wheel on the right edge on that rock, the right spot. We might be able to get ourselves over. Oh, I think it's wishful thinking. Oh, what's going on there? <laughs> oh, don't go that way. Ah. And there's the underside. Yeah, I guess I'm not making it up that one. <laughs> well, I was just getting snagged right on this edge right here, eating up on those, sitting on those links in this big hole down here. Yes, you know, no other, no vehicles gotten that far yet out here. All right, well, we'll take out this, we'll check this, uh, or take this other route over here. Which is still pretty radical in its own right. Just skate along next to this rock. Come on, let's go. Drag our back bumper over. And which way to go from here? Hmm. <laughs> well, we either go up and over the wall this way and keep on trucking straight. So we drop down into this pit over here on the right. And you got a long ways to go to catch up. Well, actually, a short ways to go because your truck is so long. It's going to make up the difference in no time. So we'll wait a few more minutes on you. <laughs> and keep on crawling with the Gen 8 here. Making our approach. She's all twisted up. Man, this truck crawls beautifully, I tell you. Makes me want to go out and get a Red Cat Gen 8. Scout 2. This is version 1, version 2 is the same thing. Just a uglier colored body, really. We're hung up pretty good here, hanging hard left. Oh, I went over it again. Roll over set. Even with custom vehicles. All right. Get her back in line. Got a little bit more left. Front tire getting snagged on a rock over there. Pushing our back tires over the edge. And I'm dropping right back down into the same hole that we were in previously a second ago. I think I'm just going to hold right here and wait for you to do a little bit of catch-up work. We are tweaked out nicely there. Heard something tweaking and flexing. I don't know what that was. <laughs> was that a back fender that was back tire biting? Goes. Now you don't have too many choices with that six by six. I think I'd probably back up, yeah. Maybe drive it right over this edge down that way. Oh, <laughs> six by six upside down. That's a whole lot of truck upside down. Rat a tat tat. Oh, and it's not so easy the second time around, right? You walk right in the first time. Spot drop it and get hung up. I think you just keep cutting hard left or hard right. Left. Yeah, keep it hard left. See if you can drop that front end down on that hole. Or maybe back up now. The sooner you... Oh, you're so close to the bull limit. Oh, get your toe to drop down. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Reach out and touch it. Your tippy toe. Falling over the place. All over the place. 
standing on these logs here. Oh, you were already caught up to me. You gonna try to make the gap there? Yeah. You could probably do it with this big long beast, man. Yeah. You better. I'd I'd try to line it up. Might as well. You're here. Room's paid for. Oh, oh, there you go. All right, I'll get out of your way. You get yourself in a comfortable spot where you're not tweaking your servo. The red cash just buried down in there below a rock. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut hard right here and drop it back down to this valley. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Oh, teetering on the chassis there. She's teetering on the belly pan. Oh, she's making it through with no problem. Uh, which way do we want to go? I think we should... Uh, I, I want to kind of try that, that green rock over there. <laughs> I'm all tongue-tied here, thinking about which way to go. We'll go right back out to the way we came in, because it's a little bit more challenging, it looks like. And then head over to this green rock over here on the other side. Better tie her down in a hole over here. And once I get up to this plat plateau, I might hold hold and wait for you again. Once I get to this next holding position. Man, this red cat is amazing. Out of all the trucks I built, I think this one crawls the best out of them all. The long travel T-Rex 4 Broncos are nice. They are really nice, but this one just... It's a crawler's truck, you know. It crawls be beautifully. For something that wasn't store bought. <laughs> and I had to do a lot of custom rigging on this to, uh, to accomplish. Now my servo is singing a little bit over there. You're stuck over here on the Rocky Divide. Give it a whirl there, E. Your six Mercedes Benz, awesome truck. Wish I owned one personally. Oh, get on track, a little side. Yeah, I don't see it working out very well. There, cut hard, cut towards me. Yeah, come this way, come forward this way. Yeah, keep keep staying on that angle. There you go, go straight. There you go, cut hard right. All right, keep cutting left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> now go left this way. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, keep come towards me. Drive this way, forward, 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 cut to the left. Yeah, turn left. Now turn right. Start turning right. Start cutting right as soon as you can. Okay. There you go. Wow, you're right on the edge. The limo. Big six by six limo. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and you're just running a stock steering servo in here with a. Uh, Tracks this complete EEC kit in here, so we're putting at least a solid six volts to it. And I definitely recommend that tracks this complete BEC kit to anybody who purchases a TRX4 or a TRX6. If you want your servos to last, get that tracks this complete BEC kit and put it in there before you uh, turn your vehicle on for the very first time. Otherwise, your stock steering servo may not last very long. I take it from uh, days to uh, years. <laughs> Lasts for a long time with that Traxxas Complete EEC kit. At least a lot longer. You caught up pretty quick. It was close there for a second. And you almost lost it. A little bit hairy. Get down in the hole again. In this rocky crevice. And I'm uh, still... Hear the Savox Servo singing away over here.
don't know if we're going to be able to climb this green rock or not. Depending on what, how we approach it. Might be driving off the edge of something over there on the passenger side. Pretty radical little approach here. Big drop off into nothing on that spot. And I don't think my tire is going to be able to span that gap. I'm not too sure. Not too sure. And really, there's nowhere to go once I get up there. This is just a can you kind of, can you crawl it kind of thing. Can it be done? There's nowhere to go once we get up there. Serious front bumper contact right here. Mm. Back tire snagged on a rock. Pump bumper snagged on a rock. Front tire is trying to get traction on the rock. <laughs> the rock that we're trying to climb. We're trying to climb two at the same time here. One with the back tire and one big one with the front. Oh, baby. Oh, you're going to roll over, aren't you? <laughs> She's definitely looking like a rollover. Oh, now we're back to square one again. Running down in a hole. Really down in a hole. Not good. Winch, winch situation here. Oh, she is twisted. Oh, rolling over. <laughs> Definitely working on rolling over. There's no doubt about that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, she doesn't want to do it. It's just going this way. <laughs> and we'll get ourselves out of that mess before it gets to be, uh, before we break a truck. Beautiful truck once again. Red Cat Gen 8 Jeep Comanche. Making our way off the rocks here. We do have rock lights underneath in the wheel wells. We just don't have them turned on at the moment. All right, there, Ian. I'm a long ways away, man. Whoa. At a six by six reach. Four wheeling with a six by six school bus. Oh man, you are really hung up good. That first step is a doozy. Oh. Maybe forward and hard left or hard right. Try going forward and hard right. Keep going hard right. There you go. There you go. And that wasn't around my head. Boy, this new camera is looking beautiful. We're in fleeting light. 
my old camera would be looking pretty shadowed. We've got the flash, just turned the flash on. I've had the flash off the entire time. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. Nice job there, Ian. Oh, yeah, I want to climb this part right here, right before we close it out. <laughs> we can't close it out until we climb that. A narrow ramp coming in here. Thinks I'm falling off the edge over on the other side. Oh, we should have stopped. <laughs> keep on going, baby. Oh, can I make it up to this other one over here? I keep going to the right. I haven't tried that with any of the vehicles as of yet. Got a mosquito buzzing in my face. Oh, come on, baby. That's a good climb. Come on, you can do it. Oh, that's nice, man. Right up to the rock collection. That's a good crawl. That is a good crawl. What a good crawling machine. Love this track. You been in the world there, Ian? In. A little bit tight there. You got it. A little bit of body rub. If you're afraid to scratch it, you're not going to have any fun, right? Mm -hmm. It's horrible to say on some vehicles. <laughs> nice job. And there's our underlighting here on our Red Cat Gen 8. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit too much with the body paint being missing. You're still crawling your way on out. Now I'm going to make my way down here. Carefully. I think it was the 4th of July with all the gunfire going on across the way there. Oh, she's way up in here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. <laughs> I think we're just balancing way up in the air for a minute there. There, right, and she's through. Almost. And mosquito buzzing in my ear. Yeah, this vehicle's a really nice crawler here. I rarely get a chance to drive this, boys and girls. Once again, this vehicle belongs to my niece. I did build it. My brother paid for it, but I rarely get a chance to drive it. My brother rarely gets a chance to drive this, too. <laughs> really, my niece is, uh, when it comes to this vehicle, she keeps a tight grip of the transmitter. And there's no wonder as to why, either. This thing crawls unbelievably well. All right, well, we've wasted enough time. I uh, very much appreciate it for y'all sticking around and watching the video, boys and girls. Another night on the rocks here uh, with two other vehicles, the TRX-6 Mercedes-Benz, which did unbelievably well. Really, no troubles whatsoever for that. And the custom Red Cat Gen 8 Jeep Comanche, which once again was a stock Red Cat Gen 8 Jeep Comanche. And then I shortened the wheelbase from 324 millimeters down to 312, 313 roughly. And uh, customized the suspension and body and everything else on top of it from there. Uh, there is other videos about this video. That is going to do it. Very much appreciated once again. Questions and comments are always welcome. And we will see you all on the next one. Thanks again. And I love this video. Great truck.